Hey, hey you, hey you, you, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. It's January 16th, 2021. I am currently at a school because I felt the school was fitting place to tell you. I just turned 32 years old yet yeah, two days ago. So that's pretty cool, I'm back at school. So I wanted to give you a prediction of the future and how it's like living day to day. Because you know that feeling when you like walk into an office, you walk into an office and they're having a joke, everybody's joking around and suddenly they stop and they're like, Ugh, like there's another, another person in the room, you know, kind of awkward uneasiness. Well, that happened today. But it happened with a family in a minivan, you know, you can go anywhere in the city, go this way, that way, doesn't matter. Just go live your life, look around you. And so, I'm this age and I haven't had children yet and I don't plan to. That's not to say that I haven't been acquainted with several yummy women that were baby prime and ready. And I know that any other man with no discipline would have jumped right in. But I knew that I wasn't able to afford that because it's a $250,000 expense. Let alone, that's baseline. Okay? But that's not the point. The point is, I didn't have children. And I don't plan to. Because again, this feeling, this is such a strange feeling, I get a surreal, like I'm in a movie. Have you taken the red pill? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like, like I said, when you go into an office and you see like no one's talking to each other after they apparently were just talking, it sounded like. Like I said, I turn, let me just say, I turn into this parking lot and there's like a family in a minivan and they were all like laughing and like ah, like having just like a Kodak moment, you know, her and him and I, like I could see kind of like maybe two, three kids in the back, I couldn't tell for sure. But then we locked eye contact. When I was turning into the parking lot, I locked eye contact with them and they suddenly just stopped and looked forward. It was like the moment like we're all disconnected, like, like, whoa, there might be a threat. There's another person that's like in an, our like space. Yeah, well, I got news for you. Okay, so what I see in that situation, what they see is probably a crazy long-haired hippie Jesus-looking guy driving in with a little Honda pill car, you know, insignificant moment. What I see is World War Z. I see in 20 years our food lines being broken down, um, power lines not being weather-proofed all over the country, our dams flooding, riverways flooding, railroad tracks incapacitated. I see the total collapse and systematic breakdown of our environmental structure, this, this thin veneer of, of, of fantasy that we're living. That's what I see and feel, and I have to live with that. I have to like look at them and go on about my day and know that. Know that in my head with every experience. How do you not have like generalized anxiety disorder knowing that? You do, basically. It's on the forefront of your thoughts, like in the back of your mind, let's say, everywhere you go, is knowing that this will be in vain. This is all in vain. Had to move, because the generator just kicked on. Look, I don't want to keep you much further. What I'm saying is cascading, collapsing infrastructure that is like a domino effect that's going to be happening rapidly when many things start to degenerate around the 2030, 2040 range. Okay, think about World War II, how that happened. How just a few sequence of events, terrible, terrible uh, dictatorship, and the whole world plunged into chaos. Okay, right now, we are gambling with possession of nukes all over the world and a very fragile system. And unless any of the upcoming administrations give a World War III Herculean-like task force on re-engineering and re-infrastructuring all of our systems to adapt to a uh, rapid breakdown, then what we have in for us is the total collapse of our environment. And so again, back to that family, I have to look at them with bright eyes and smiling. This is why I'm getting out of the city, probably for good. All of this is a fantasy. It does, it doesn't, it's not going to last. I have to look at them and say, okay, glad you're having fun. Okay, so we're all in this together. Now you know. You've been schooled. Have a good time. I'll talk to you soon.